Okay, so today we're talking about the sub $100 phones from China that uh, work on the 3G HSPA network frequency from AT&T through the uh, Freedom Pop SIM card. This phone is a Duji X5 Max Pro fingerprint scanner. 6.0 Android, uh, works great, has uh, one little quirk, uh, the charger is on top so it's a little funny when I, uh, it's a little funny when I navigate uh, in the car because the charger is sticking out of the top instead of out of the bottom. Um, but uh, amazing battery life, 4000 milliamp hour battery in there that uh, easily lasts all day. Okay. Um, a few other phones you can buy are the Blue Boo Picasso that's on the 850 network and I've, I've already activated uh, several of those. Uh, there's a HomTom HT27 and a THL T9. Some of the brands that I know will work with the Freedom Pop uh, because they have the AT&T slash T-Mobile frequency. Um, what you're going to want to do, I have this phone set up with two SIM cards. Uh, neither of them I use as a phone number because I use Hangouts and Hangouts Dialer as my main dialer on my phone. Uh, that way I can grab any phone, log into it, and that's my phone for the day. Uh, in case anything happens to this one, I do have a backup. Um, or if my kid's phone goes down, they can switch and log into theirs. Love having Google Voice as the main phone and the main phone number. Um, okay, so this phone is already set up. You can see that I'm roaming. And uh, I have full bars right there on my second SIM card. And uh, I have another video if you need to learn how to activate on the Freedom Pop network. That only takes five minutes if you just download the Freedom Pop app and uh, set your APN, turn the data on, and uh, turn roaming on and then pick your network. Okay, there's a few quirks with these phones, especially because we are using chips that are based out of the UK. So when I open up settings, you're gonna see under settings, SIM cards, slot number one and slot number two. So slot number two is turned on and under data usage, slot number one is turned off, slot number two is turned on, the cellular data. Um, then we go to more, cellular networks, number one is off, number two is on. The uh, roaming is on. So the main problem is just the language. That's it. You just have to go in to um, language and input. You need to change the language to United States English. And you need to, uh, I have the uh, Google keyboard in here. I have that set at United States English. And um, you also need to set the text-to-speech output. If you click on that, you click on the gear, you got to make sure that says United States English and you're all set. This is just a regular bought in America Android device now. Everything works great. Uh, I was a little leery buying this phone at first and uh, I wasn't sure whether it was going to work or not on the networks. I was, I was not familiar with the frequency issues, but like I said, if, if I got two phones. One only has the 850 network frequency. Freedom Pop card works just the same as this one that has the 850 and the 1900. Um, everything works great. You know, I got my one touch dial set up on here. Okay, so the other issue is, or the other thing on this phone is, setting this up to work with Hangouts. I'm only using data, I'm only using Wi-Fi, I use my Hangouts number, 
and um, if you click on Hangouts there, it's got all my texts and I'll sort of hold over my Gmail account there. You need to go into settings and you need to go to your Gmail account and you need to make sure that incoming phone calls is turned on. You're all set. It's going to ring when somebody calls that number. Uh, you can set up a Google Voice account it, when you're logged into your Gmail just by opening up another tab and go to the Google Voice website and follow the instructions on getting a phone number. You can also transfer your phone number to Google Voice if you have it on a Sprint device currently. Uh, one of the is, that can get a little complicated, but uh, what I've done in the past, uh, wh whether it was a home phone or a cell phone, you can transfer it to a Sprint device temporarily, and then port it to Google Voice. Uh, I did that with an old AT&T home phone number, and was able to maintain the same number that way. Uh, it cost $20 one time to do that, plus whatever it costs to transfer it to um, the Sprint phone, usually $10 or something like that. So there you have it. I have a Chinese phone that was only $80. It's fantastic. Android 6.0 uh, allows me to install a 32 gigabyte chip on here and have that stored as internal uh, storage so you can put tons of apps on here without having to worry about moving them to the SD card and uh, Chinese phone in America working great thank you very much